I will go I will go anywhere you lead me yeah. I will go where I was traveling to while I was traveling the driver was driving so fast and I asked him a question it was okay I was going for a meeting and he was running so fast and I asked him a question I said are you the one going for the meeting he said no I said why are you rushing with me like this people have died just for careless driving are we in agreement On a road that is not a trunk, a road, they are still driving at 120 and 140. And in the next five minutes, they will still stop. No. Please, let's take responsibility over our longevity and our physical health. One of the ways that you keep yourself alive is to protect the kind of information that is around your environment. I tell you, our world is full of negative things that can depress you in less than 24 hours. As a personal principle, I am very disciplined about the information that comes around my ears. Why? Because there are millions of people depending on my knowledge of God, depending on the truths and the sermons that come for them. I cannot be so selfish to punish millions of people by not guarding my heart jealously. You never find me around people gossiping, speaking, talking about this. I don't have that time. I'm on a project. You must protect yourself. The Bible says, listen very carefully. The Bible says a broken spirit can dry up the bones. Negative news. Bad news. <laughs> True story. I pray my father does not watch this, this broadcast because of what I'm about to say. One time, my dad called my mom and said she should never make cabbage for him again or something like that. I said, cabbage? Cabbage that is a blessing. Do you know what happened? He was watching a documentary. <laughs> and in that documentary, they were talking about cabbage. And I don't know what is it that cabbage carries. And they started explaining a few things. And I said, you see, for someone is happy about the gift of cabbage, and a man who had eaten cabbage all his life, if we were to kill you, you would have been dead now. And just because of a five or ten minutes marketing, you now reject cabbage. In the name of Jesus, let obtain grace to guard our eyes, our ears, and every information that comes to us. Now, in as much as I am pro-health, at the same time I know that everything God gave us, if it came from God, it will not destroy you. Is that true? Because if you are done listening to the news and food experts are done with you, you will live a fasted life forever. Because it will look as if there are demons in every food. They will tell you orange has something that can kill you. Banana has something that can kill you. Even rice that you are eating, you are about to die tomorrow. And at the end of it, there is nothing again to eat. The Bible teaches us how to eat well. Give thanks. When you give thanks... <laughs> Hallelujah.